many foreign entrepreneurs who are willing to start a business in Germany choose between GmbH and UG company forms. This video explains the differences and criteria to choose the company form. Before you take a pen to note down the main benefits and disadvantages, make sure you are subscribed to our channel and have the notifications on, because we'll be posting more videos that will help you dominate the European market. This is Tushar. He's a foreign entrepreneur who plans to open a company in Germany. To decide on the type of the legal form, he read tens of articles on the Internet. He even tried to understand the complicated legal terms, but he got even more confused about the differences between a GmbH and a UG. Let's help Tushar figure out the main differences between those two forms and find out the benefits and disadvantages for him as a foreign entrepreneur. Except for some unique details, the UG generally shares the same responsibilities as the standard GmbH. What UG and GmbH have in common? Limited liability. Liability of the shareholders in both UG and GmbH is limited to corporation legal assets, including the share capital. Shareholders. The shareholders of both GmbH and UG can be individuals or legal entities. Individual shareholders can be German nationals or foreigners, including nationals of non-EU countries. Managing Director GmbH and UG must be represented by a managing director. The managing director can be either a shareholder or a third person outside the company. It is not necessary that the managing director of the GmbH or UG is a German citizen. What does it mean for foreigners? We can register a company in Germany even if we are not European citizens. What share capital do I need to start a company? The minimum amount of share capital required for a GmbH is 25,000 euros. For GmbH registration, it is enough to deposit half of that amount, 12,500 euros. The contribution in share capital of a GmbH can be made in cash or in kind, equipment, property or other assets. The minimum amount of share capital required for a UG is 1 euro. This is a significant advantage over the GmbH for most startup businesses. Unlike the GmbH, the contributions in the share capital of the UG can only be made in cash. No contribution in kind is permitted. Does that mean that I can contribute an only 1 euro share capital? That's right, but we suggest contributing at least 300 euros. It is also important to keep in mind the following conditions. While it is allowed to register a UG with 1 euro of share capital, the company must consider all possible operational costs before the company formation. If, for example, the company budget is only 100 euros, the UG can very soon fail to meet its obligations. As a result, the company must file for insolvency. So this means that before starting a company, I need to calculate the company expenses for at least one year? Absolutely. Many startup UGs failed because of underestimating the startup budget of the company. That is why we provide budgeting and cost optimization as a part of our services. What about profit distribution? The UG cannot fully distribute its profit. Instead, it must build statutory provisions or reserves by transferring 25% of its net profit each year. Upon reaching 25,000 euros of statutory provisions, including the share capital, the UG can be transformed into a GmbH. Do both forms have the same credibility level? By law, you are obligated to write the full name of your company, including its legal form. For example, Nexus Europe GmbH or Nexus Europe UG. It means that all your business partners and customers will clearly see that the share capital of 25,000 euros has been invested or it is just one euro company. If you are going to win the market or become a long-term supplier for German companies, the image of a GmbH might be quite important. Moreover, Many German banks refuse to open accounts for UGs if shareholders or managing directors are non-EU citizens. Is there anything else I should consider before choosing the company form? 
A foreign person should consider his or her intention to apply for the German residence when forming a company in Germany. You can find the information on getting the German residence as a self-employed in the German market section on our website. This was a quick overview of the two most popular company firms in Germany. You can find the full review on the differences between a UG and a GmbH on our website. Just click the link in the description box below the video. Make sure to check the description for more useful links to articles and videos. Dreaming of securing a future for yourself and your family? Eager to conquer the German and the European market? Contact us right now to form a company in Germany. In most of the cases, we can register a company even without your personal visit. If you found this video useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up.